<clears throat> okay guys, so I was just curious. Um, I tried this once yesterday on how the HD system would do on a racetrack. Um, obviously it's not a race build. It's a uh, 390 grams, so it's about 100 grams heavier than one of my Hawk 5s, um, but that's not going to really matter in regards to like seeing if there's latency. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go. I'm going to fly one pack. Hopefully I don't crash, and we'll see how it goes. I know I normally try to narrate, but talking and racing or Parking and doing laps is usually pretty difficult. So yeah, <clears throat> just a couple of laps, um, and <clears throat> you know I don't know if that looks fast to you or slow or whatever. Um, in my tiny backyard, that's about it's about as fast as I've gotten. Obviously, I'm trying not to crash and damage someone else's property or whatever. Um, <clears throat> and obviously, you can probably tell you can see the weight of the quad pulling it out wide, especially in the. Um, ladder whatever whatever you call those things <clears throat> um, so yeah I can I can feel the weight of the quad you could probably notice the weight of the quad um, but as far as the control link to the relation of the FPV feed I don't feel any latency not compared to one of my Hawk 5s racing back here and you know and again I am using crossfire but yeah, and that, that is on 25 milliwatt with the stock antennas. I mean, again, my yard's not very big, but um, yeah, I didn't feel any latency. We, uh, like I said, my buddy Davey has got an HD quad. And I think we might try to race him at some point. <clears throat> but for racing, if you're concerned about latency, I'd say that's a non-issue. Um, yeah, I didn't, I didn't notice any difference. So yeah. Thanks for watching, guys.